Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to One Snatch. It's time for a Sasha Kobe tribute. All right, Sasha Kobe has been killing this season of Drag Race. And, you know, I was actually rooting for Mistress Isabel Brooks at the beginning, but now I'm a big Sasha Kobe fan, okay? I'm really inspired by her barbed wire look for the music video, okay? So we're going to recreate that, maybe record a verse of my own at the end of this video, and also do a in-memoriam for some of the drag queens that we've lost recently, all right? So we're going to do a barbed wire Sasha Kobe smoky eye, which is a little bit different from the smoky eyes that I've been doing. And um, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell for post notifications, all right? Okay, let's get smoking. All right, okay, so block my brows and I'm just going to get started. I'm going to try to use a um, whole bunch of new products today, okay? I'm going to prime my face now with my uh, Nimia Nikki Tutorials Primer. It looks like oatmeal. It says, Nikki Tutorial says, not the prime is the crime. So the reunion was yesterday, okay, the day before I filmed. And I'm quite happy to see that at the end of the whole reunion, they actually put this in memoriam for the amazing drag legends that have passed away in the last few, in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> I guess we're, we're around that time when most of these like amazing drag queens are reaching the age where they are, you know, pillars of society and, and their loss is really, really felt. I mean, of course, the most shocking was, um, of course, Heklina. Heklina, she was found dead unexpectedly while she was on tour in London with um, Peaches Christ. I know Heklina because I listen to a lot of gay podcasts. I have been listening to Feast of Fun for a long, long time, okay? Heklina has appeared on that podcast once or twice, okay? She also has her own podcast called Drag Time, which I also listen to. But she doesn't put out episodes very often, but when she does, I'm always happy to listen to one of the legends of drag, talk about drag. I mean, she was, of course, one of the OG drag queens, okay, along with people like Peaches Christ, um, Jackie Beat, Lady Bunny, okay, and she had her own drag club in San Francisco. She used to run a club called Chat, because we can't use that term anymore, so um, she closed that down and moved away. I think she opened one called Mother, okay, and she ran that, showcasing a lot of local drag in San Francisco. I think she was notoriously quite very, very sex positive. Every time I heard her on podcasts and interviews, she always talked about like eating ass and stuff like that. <laughs> and I think she was quite pivotal in the Folsom Street Fair, which was um, kind of like this King Kevy uh, parade in San Francisco, where a lot of, you know, leather daddies go walking, marching. So Heklina's um, passing was... I think a huge shock to the community, okay? I think a lot of people were thinking whether it was a joke or not. Even like Peaches Christ, who was on tour with her, she was, I think, quite distraught. Lady Bunny, of course, was posting jokes almost a day after. People like Bianca Del Rio, who came up on the scene, um, being mentored by Heklina, was, of course, obviously very distraught. And yeah, so she was right there in the in-memoriam. Let's add little pops of white here. Yeah. Yeah. Lift. Lift. Yeah. So if you make the highlights really concentrated, it gives everything a little bit more dimension, right? Okay, if, like for example, if the middle of the face is so white, it really brings this forward, which makes everything else go back. Okay, I'm going to use this She Glam contour today. It's um, by Sheen. I've seen a lot of people on TikTok use this. Blends nice. I mean, today I've got like this Pamela Anderson kind of bang, so it doesn't really matter my forehead. It kind of blends away into nothing. <laughs> I have been trying to use foundations that are a bit closer to my own skin tone, so I'm not like painting like a <laughs> white woman the whole time. This is another She Glam contour. Very, very, very mild. It blends quite nicely though. All right, let's get these face tapes on and I'll be right back. Okay, face tapes are on and I'm going to be building this eye a little bit differently from before, okay? Because it's going to be a 90s Pamela Anderson barbed wire look. Um, the brow's very, very thin, okay? So I might not even do brows because I have bangs, but I want to hint of brows by, you know, using the white highlight as the underbrow. So 90s brows are like very arched. So if I did have a brow, it would probably look like something like that. 
Uh, another queen that we lost recently was Dacel XV. Dacel XV, who was a really an institution of Portland, Oregon. She she was, I think, the oldest living drag queen, and she died at the age of ninety two. She also ran a cabaret and nightclub in Portland, Oregon, called Dacel XV Show Place. Let me blend this in. And the thing about Dacel. XV. She has also been on a lot of podcasts recently. Feast of, Feast of Fun, I think, in, just interviewed her recently. She's one who actually started drag really late, or to get at the age of 37. Oh, it's the same age as me. Okay, so, you know, um, she obviously had a whole different life before that. She was even married to a woman, had children and everything, and when, and when she, she decided to live her truth at quite a late age. But that's, you know, a very common story for a lot of gay people and a lot of drag artists who you know, um, grew up in the 50s and 60s. All right, today I'm using um, uh, Made by Mitchell, this kind of color palette. I'm gonna map out my smoky eye with this. I'm gonna use this warm brown here, scrape out a little bit and put it on my palette. And this black. Okay, and I'm gonna map out the smoky eye. Okay, the, the trick about smoky eye is that if you just went and smoked everything out without any control, you get <laughs> really, you can, you can go easily quite large and quite big and make it look really messy, okay? Um, the last couple of smoky eyes I did, I try to keep them really, really tight, okay? And make sure you blend the edges very nicely so it goes with that nice smoke. Sasha Colby, she has a very distinct eye shape. She pulls everything back a lot, okay? So her smoky eye is also uh, very um, connected to this very, very pulled back look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my own eye shape that I've been doing the last couple of times and map that out and fill everything in black, okay? So I'm using the, the brown first, but warming that cream on the palette. I'm going to map out my crease where I would normally do, usually, okay? The last couple of times I've been doing. This is really pigmented cream base and mapping out that crease to be the limit of my smoky eye. Okay, and then we're gonna blend it out later. But basically that's gonna be the border of my smoky eye. Keep it even on both sides. Okay, now that that's done, I can feather out the edges by just blending it out into that white. Make sure this part is nice and blended to give you that really nice smoky look. Okay, and of course using creams, blending is so much easier. You can even wipe that off and blend it even more. You want to go back to use the... So that gives you that impeccable blend. Okay, and I'm using the black. I'm just going to paint this onto the lid. Okay, and use it almost like a liner. Okay, and fill in this whole area. Okay, it looks really messy right now, but let's go back and blend that into the brown. Okay, using the same brown brush, I'm just going to pack that in and see that blend. Okay, so that's the blend that goes really, really nicely when you, use, when you start off with creams. So Sasha Kobe has a pretty similar, um, you know, eye shape to me. She also has quite a prominent brow bone, so this technique Probably similar to what she's doing. This also makes sh make sure that you have a really, really nice smoke. So I'm just going back and forth with the, with the browns and the blacks. Okay, and now we can set the whole face. All right, I'm gonna set the face and I'll be right back. Okay, set my face and laid out this powder, and now I'm gonna go in and intensify that smoky eye. Okay, so grabbing my packing brushes. Okay, first a nice fluffy brush to go around the edges to get that brown using my Moonstone palette. This palette is quite a hit at um, Disco Demolition. It's quite a good, good palette. Okay, using um, Canopy, which is a really light transition shade to start off with. Just going to see how easy that smokes out once you get the base down. And this is quite a light brown too. Okay, so for this, you want to use a very fluffy brush. It's got really really dense bristles and when you blend okay the sides of the brush where it's a little bit denser that will do blending for you so you don't have to go you know all the way around make sure you keep it in a the center and just keep going round and round okay and uh, 
the light parts of the brush will blend that upper part. So you don't have to, you know, keep going f further and further. If not, you're just going to blend all the way to your hairline. So just keep it where your crease is, okay? All the little bristles will do the work for you. Okay, so now the next color, stepping down one step down, you go in with a denser brush, you know, compared to this one. This is for the outside, this is for the inside. I'm going in with lace, which is a deeper brown. Now I'm going to go deeper in here, the crease, and intensify that brown there. Okay, so this is just in the middle here to give it some dimension. You don't go too far up because you want that light brown up there. And then if you want, go back with the lighter brush to fluff that out. And now, using an even packier brush, I think this one I want to use my real techniques. Okay, like a really dense packing brush. No fluffiness on the side, really, really dense. Go into the black and just pack it on. Okay, there you go. Smoky eye. This goes right on the lid and bring it up towards that crease. And just go back and forth and blend. Blend it nicely. Okay, yeah, so a smoky eye is actually quite <laughs> a lot of work to get it right. Um, now I'm going to work on the under eye. I am going to keep that little white inner corner, which is a very classic one to snatch, can't do without it. And this is, of course, using my clown white light. It's going to give me, draw that little. Okay, so next on the list, on the bucket list, Lily Savage, okay, from the UK. She was a drag institution as well okay she was a really really um popular drag queen in the 80s she was also she also came up in like a kind of a working class kind of a humor and she brought that kind of drag to uk but she performed in the royal Vauxhall tavern in the 80s for like years okay and she was an institution there until she got stolen to the tv and she hosted the breakfast show she hosted a whole bunch of tv shows in and she was a big big star she was also quite an uh, vocal aids activist okay in the 1980s Okay, so now just going in with the brown, the darker brown lace. I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. I know in the music video, Sasha Kobe uses has a blue eye, but I really wanted to go for the 90s Pam Anderson look. And I'm going in with the black just to go all the way around. A little bit of the lighter brown just to smoke everything out. So yeah, just a lot of blending. Okay, so that's my smoky eye. A bit bigger than the usual smoky eye that I do. Okay, so that's my Sasha Kobe smoky eye. I'm gonna brush all this off and I'm gonna contour my face now. Okay, but first I'm just gonna pop some lenses in. Some ultra blue Sasha Kobe lenses that she wore at the reunion. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, got my lenses in. Now I'm just warming up my face with this Trixie Cosmetics bronzer, it's very pigmented. So this one, you know, before I kind of overdid it a little bit. This is Peace Out Poppy. Okay, using the lighter shade in here. Almost like a bronzer. Sasha Kobe's makeup isn't actually my favorite makeup. Um, throughout the season, she sometimes she looks really, really harsh, I think. Her smoky eye especially, especially for some of the challenges like in the musical challenge, it really goes <laughs> so far down. I guess she really paints for the stage most of the time. Okay, just rounding up the face here. Just going down the neck. Okay, so Lily Savage actually also has come up, spoken up against Drag Race. Um, I think most of the older queens have, but Lily Savage has said that, you know, drag race isn't real drag because they're all trying to look like supermodels and all this contouring and everything. It's not the kind of drag that she knows, okay? Her drag, of course, the UK drag, is very uh, comes from a place of camp and comedy and hosting and stuff like that. So she has said that in the past. But, you know, that's also been said by many of the drag race alum as well. That's a bit of bronzing. Now going in with my NYX... I'm using a darker shade, deepen up these pockets here. I'm gonna give myself this Sasha Kobe cheekbones. I'm just keeping it here, I'm just blending it up. I'm using I'm back to using my NYX because my crayon case has run out. I've hit pan on my favorite contour shade. <laughs> so just 
extends from the crease. Okay, and another legend that we recently lost was a drag queen called Crystal Woods. She was a African American queen. She was one of the best Diana Ross impersonators. So yeah, this one. So I guess Jerry Rizal now is a <laughs> this one of my friends. He's the premier Diana Ross impersonator. She had um I think she had a bit of a dynasty as well. You know, it's like those celebrity deaths, once one happens, it's almost like <laughs> you know, two or three are gonna be following in their wake. Okay, so hopefully that will be the end of it for a while. And I'm very pleased that they did that in memoriam. I was hoping they did something like that. Um, of course, that's not the only queens that we've lost. I mean, Drag Race alum themselves, we've lost people like Chichi Devane. I did a whole video on Scleroderma here in honour of her. And of course, Sarah Davenport, Manila's ex-partner. And of course, last year, we also lost Cherry Valentine from UK, who was a mental health nurse and, you know, unfortunately succumbed also to her own mental health issues, which is something that we need to talk about also, you know, um, suicidality and everything uh, amongst LGBT people. And of course, with all these horrible anti-trans, anti-drag laws, it's not making it any better for any anyone, okay, who's growing up these days. I'm contouring my lip to make it look fuller later. With this blush binder, I really never need to buy another blush palette ever again. It's got so many wonderful colours. I think I'm going in with this taupey shade. Very, very subtle blush, okay? Don't want to overdo it today. Uh, th those are the queens that we've lost in the last couple of weeks. Back to a little bit of Drag Race. I think this week, th this this season's Drag Race has been quite phenomenal. I really enjoyed <laughs> Drag Race this season. Um, even Lucy Leduca been painted as a little bit over-eager. I think, I think I'll probably be Lucy Leduca if I get on stage, but a lot less talent, okay? She sings amazing. And of course, um, I think there's some pictures here where I kind of like look like Lucy Leduca for some reason. <laughs> so I think it's the way I had a smile. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to go for a big 90s lip, okay? So 90s lips were, weren't red. They went to this nude area where they did the lip liner with brown and went in with a really light colour. That was the lip of the decade, the 90s and early 2000s. I've got this new Juvis Place liner in Coffee Bean. I really like these liners, these luxe lip liners. They go on really, really nicely and blend nicely into your lip. I bought a couple more colours. Brown outline and then in the middle, nude. Okay, making it much fuller. So I usually do a Violet Chachki lip where I, you know, taper it down on that side to make, to it gives me a kind of look, look, look at this, but that wasn't the look of the 90s. Very full lips. Contour to try it. Okay, and going into the nude, I pulled out my house labs in dust. Okay, blend it in with a lip liner. I'm using the same cream blender that I use for my eyes to blend all that in. I'm going to make it even lighter by putting some white, pop some white in the middle. Very, very 90s lip. Alright, so I'm just going to clean up a little bit. Pop some lashes on, maybe some glitter in the eye, and I'll be back with a finished look. And maybe a little bit of a lip sync at the end. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, and this is the Pamela Anderson by way of Sasha Colby Wonder Snatch look. Pamela Anderson barbed wire. <laughs> uh, this is the same hair that I wore to host the Cosa 30 last week, and I cut it to give myself this kind of a, you know, very 90s Pamela Anderson vibe. <laughs> I'm really glad how this look turned out. How do you like it? Do you, do you think I look like Sasha Colby? <laughs> you know, actually, yeah, if you notice in Sasha Colby's verse, she was referencing all the other Sashas that came before her. I mean, her alien look was a very Sasha Velour look. And then, of course, when she said crack the code, and of course, that's referencing Sasha Bell, okay, who's known by Frisbee Jenkins nowadays. All right, so I'm going to record a little bit of a verse after this to do a little bit of duet with Sasha Colby. And I'm also doing a, you know, a lip sync, blame me on the edit thing for a fan cam thing that we're doing with a whole bunch of other people on Instagram. Okay, so look for that. All right, so if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If Sasha Kobe doesn't win this time, I'm sure she's going to, you know, sweep all stars, just like, you know, Sonique. And um, yeah, so subscribe and do all that, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Check the music video.
Wonder why this wonder snap just spliced onto your screens? Tell Mama Ru to stop a search and control X these queens. Faces tuned to glamours on this talent can't be photoshopped, you tweakers. Clear the way, cause wonder snap is here to say. Bitch, you the one who said it, bitch How you gon' regret it? Blame it on the 